Nowadays, computers and programs are so complex, you need to Google how it works or even how to use it. Today, I'll be interviewing Anders Schurblum on his background on how he became a self-taught program designer for Siemens from a dairy farm in Sweden. My name is Anders Schurblum. I live in Rochester Hills, Michigan, and I currently work at Siemens as a software developer. Um, so a little bit about myself. Um, I grew up in Sweden on a dairy farm. My uh, mom and dad, they bought that farm when I was only one year old. And uh, it was a lot of fun growing up on the farm. Always something to do and, and uh, always something to explore. What was really fun, my, my dad, he had a, a workshop where I spent almost all my time. Um, it was from making, you know, enhancement to my bicycle to making go-karts to eventually, you know, building cars and modifying cars and, and those kind of things. So my dad had this workshop and uh, with that workshop, he also had a company where he uh, did a lot of inventions. Um, the inventions he made um, needed drawings so he can actually sell these to companies so they could manufacture the products. And this is where I helped out. Um, it wasn't long after we started doing the drawings where we decided we need a computer so we can more easily create these, these drawings and actually modifying if we, if we had to. And um, this is where we, we bought the first computer and this is how I really got interested into, uh, in computers and how computers work. So all the hacking I did and all the learning I, I did um, with my friends actually led to um, uh, a software um, position at the uh, Swedish company I worked for. So I worked uh, for uh, in a development job actually in uh, in the Swedish company for a while, and this is where I met uh, met my uh, currently ex-wife, but my wife then, um, and um, she worked in a next door cube, and this is kind of how we met. My name is April Ann Ireland Ventimiglia, and I live in Clinton Township, Michigan. I went to work in Sweden when I was 19 as a, like it was a temp job for six months. And I met him probably about six weeks after being there. We worked for the same company, small town. Well, we met at the bar first, and then it turns out we worked at the same company. So then we kind of started talking at work because we had met previously at the bar. Um, we got married and, uh, and we lived in Sweden for a while and uh, she, she really missed her, uh, her twin sister and, and uh, we decided why don't we try the States for a while and see um, what that would bring us. So this is where we packed up and actually moved to the United States. And um, this was the first time I really had to go and find a job, so to say. But anyway, um, once I found a job, um, then everything opened up. And shortly after, I started working at Ford Research uh, down in Dearborn. Um, still in the software um, area, right? And uh, worked in the, um, in the computer department there. So half the time I was configuring computers and the other half of the, of the time I was working as a software developer back then too. It was just before 2000 and um, all these IT companies started up and I actually left Ford and started with a, with a startup company called Engineering Animation. Um, um, this company uh, struggled a lot when the IT crash happened late um, 2000 when uh, most of these startup companies in the IT business Kind of went belly up due to um, due to the stock market. So, so we almost went belly up to an engineering animation, but luckily got bought by Unigraphics. Unigraphics then in uh, later on uh, got bought by uh, Siemens, and um, that's actually the current uh, employer I, I work for currently. So that's how engineering eventually ended up being. Uh, Siemens and um, it was a class I took 
And uh, it's so funny, um, as we progressed in this class and the teacher was saying, you know, you know, as you get out in the work life and you, and you get hired by Microsoft or companies like that, um, every time you said that statement, I thought to myself, you know, what is he thinking? You know, I would never be hired by any, you know, big companies like that. You know, I was just happy to be hired, right? And, um, you know, reflecting now to, to actually know that, hey, I'm working for one of these big software companies, you know, it's, it's quite amazing. But back then it was like, he must be, uh, he must be joking sort of thing. Looking back though, it's, it's quite, interesting how you could start um, hacking away at, um, at a computer in a little village in, in, uh, in Sweden, right? Nowadays, it's crazy to look back on how you can teach yourself to become a program designer with little education. I'm Adrian from the Pankow Center, signing out.